I work in both in Tel Aviv and the US, mostly New York. I was traveling in Bakersfield to see what I want to do, and one of the places I liked the most was the Panorama Vista. You walk on the promenade and you see this valley, which one side is all preserved nature and the other side is all oil pumps. So I was really excited about this combination and about the, the striking view. I was able to collect plants in the preserve, bring them to my studio, open several scrolls at a time, uh, organize my plants on the canvases, pour the paint on the plants. Once it's dry, I peel off most of the plants. And what, is, what I get is kind of a ghost image. It's a, it's a reflection of something that was there, but not anymore. You can say rolls, but uh, I call them scrolls because when I open them, sometimes I cannot open the whole thing. And scroll relates to, well, to Torah scrolls, to stories, to, to chapters. And there is something about working in, uh, uh, in section by section and kind of finding, uh, it's, kind of, it's like a storytelling. And it also, because it takes a lot of time to paint it, and it takes a lot of time to um, process what you see, uh, there is something about time and measurements in the, in the art. It demands time, you know, from all directions. In this era, people are like looking at Instagram and we're just flipping photos all the time, images all the time, and there is something about the, you know, the art draws you in and asks you to take part of it, to let yourself delve in to let yourself spend more time looking at it and understanding it and figuring it out. But it talks not necessarily in an intellectual level. I mean, I think it talks on a very emotional and very basic, oh, I want to see, I want to see what's in it. I want to be part of it. And uh, this is kind of what it is about.